Why don't you all type in, uh, those that want to stay, type in Metascape. And you should get to this page here. Okay, is everybody on this page? So we can do multiple gene lists, but again, a lot of these like software things, you just paste your list. So let's just paste that list that we had in there. So I've got 200 some genes in here. Okay, you redo that, now hit submit. Optional, if you only wanna consider human species, um, let's go just human. Yeah, human's fine. And then hit express analysis. Metascape isn't too bad. It's better than David. Just about everything's better than David. <laughs> we can, uh, yeah, it might take a little while. But what this will do at the very end, what it's going to do is give you like kind of a, you know, a basically a summary on the gene list that you put in. Everybody understands like most of science is that's what you do with bioinformatics. It's you never get just one gene different, right? It's a series of genes. And some of those, like we said in the very beginning, a lot of those are false discoveries, right? Like a lot of that's crap, right? We've just done so many chat tests that a lot of that is just things that we don't need. But, you know, what you want to do is you want to, again, you know, you've got this list of genes. How do I know what's, what's important and what isn't? And a lot of what we're doing now is what we're doing, you know, when we throw it through string, it's we see these connections, right? If I've got this gene list and all these things are connected to each other on my gene list, it must be important. They must be working together. Therefore, my gene list is probably more valid. If I took a gene list and I threw it through something like string and I wasn't getting those connections and say the probability was like the same as like random chance that I would get those connections, then that means either I'm onto something that no one's ever seen before and so no one's characterized any of these interactions, but usually what it means is my gene list is crap. Like it's, it's worthless. And you see that a lot. And I see people trying to salvage gene lists that aren't worth salvaging. Like we, we have this expression in bioinformatics and elsewhere, you know, garbage in, garbage out. And that's exactly what it is, right? I can only polish a turd so much, <laughs> you know, it's still a turd, <laughs> you know, and that's happens with, with these things is, you know, if the data was collected incorrectly and in just a poorly designed experiment, there's nothing you can do, right? I can't massage this. You know, there's only mo so much massaging you can do before you start making up crap. So, all right. So hopefully everybody's done. So click on the analysis repage, report page. And then this is just basically giving you a, an example of, you know, like what's going on. Here are our overrepresented biological units. Again, lots and lots of energy, biosynthetic processes, creating basically energy and compounds to create the next cell, right? Cellular protein, response to oxidative stress, TCA cycle. Again, that's you're generating ATP, amino acid metabolism. This is a very much, genes that are the opposite of STK11 are all about producing energy, taking food, breaking it down, making energy for other things to happen. You could basically take this PDF. You could also input genes. I don't know what this is. I guess you could download this, the imported genes, pathway enrichment, metabolites, fatty acid, definitely there. And then we can get into the networks and you can see what kind of networks that this thing creates. You can see that a lot of these are, you know, we go to Cytoscape, we can go to the web, click on that. You know, and now they're colored by different things. You know, they're clustered. 
And all these different colors have a different, show a different Go network or basically colored by different pathways it's associated with. Again, different ways to see how these things are related. Going down, going back to protein enrichment. You know, again, more information on what you're actually looking at. And stuff like this, this is what I want to look at. These are way more better pixels. This is a way better picture than just me looking at a table. I hate when people just give me tables. Like, I mean, you know, great, that's nice, but like show me something. Like take all that information, present it visually, and you're going to get your, you know, get your point across way better, right? And it can't, it doesn't have to be just line graphs. It can be stuff like this. It could be, you know, use your imagination. I, I use all kinds of different ways, you know, heat maps, uh, clustering, you know. Again, make that picture that actually explains your data set without having you actually having to explain it. Somebody can just look at it and go, ah, got it, right? You're not gonna get that with a table necessarily. But if you're gonna look here and you're gonna see like, oh, what do all these genes do? Oh, they're red, that's uh, you know, that's a different, you know, I know this, this block, therefore, you know, like that makes sense. Quality control association, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, these are different uh, uh, groups that they define. Oh, COVID, that's what it is. So. Any questions on this? I'm gonna show you one more that people do use. 